weekend against a Mexican competitor, Logan Wild of the United States on your left, and Angel Ramirez of Mexico on your, well, right in the middle of your screen right there. In the white shirt, the black cap. And there is Logan Wild, who edged out the top seed, Pierre Julien Deloche, in the quarterfinals. Did a lot of people a favor by doing that earlier this week. Then he lost to Dietmar Trillis of Canada by one. We'll see Dietmar in the gold medal match coming up. So that's how Logan Wild got here. Meanwhile, Ramirez snuck by Martin Damsbo of Denmark by one before dropping an eight point decision to Rio Wild, Logan's brother. So he loses to Rio and now he gets wild again. Look, Logan is a great archer. I mean, he's won the Arizona Cup. He won the Texas shootout. He won a gold in the team event at Ogden. He's won a World Cup in uh, San Salvador in 2006. Geez, he's got all the credentials, but I wouldn't write off Angel. Um, new, you know, like a, a younger archer coming into it, um, he can certainly put those arrows down. One thing about the uh, Wild Brothers, they do not seem to lack for confidence. No, they've got for the confidence, but you certainly need it um, to compete in the United States. I think there's so many good archers. Look at that look of determination on the face of Logan Wild who now makes his home in the Salt Lake City, Utah area and drills a nine to start this competition. Only just out. Logan works for Eastern Archery Products as well full time. Ramirez with a nine. Now back to Logan Wild, 33 years old. Ranked 39th in the world. Was ranked as high as fourth in the world back in 2007. And you see why with that shot. Ramirez. It's a low eight. Just below the line, so it's a low eight. His nerves might be getting to him a little bit at the moment. I'm sure he'll come back. He'll come back. It'll start Not to wear off. Not as much experience at this oh, level as no. Logan Wild, but no. I'm sure he'll warm and rise to the occasion as this match goes on. 28 points for Logan Wild and 27 for his opponent from Mexico, who came in ranked 196th in the world after being ranked 39th last year. The good news for Angel Ramirez is he's already won a bronze medal here this week in the men's team event. That was his first World Cup medal ever. And now he's going for his second. So this could be a big week for him here in Shanghai. For sure. And I'm sure we'll see more of him in the years to come. Mexico um, seems to be producing some great archers. So 27 points as Angel shot a 9, an 8, and a 10. And hopefully those butterflies are gone for him now as his teammates. There's Linda Ochoa, who won a gold medal earlier in the mixed team event, anxiously on the edge of her seat here in the front row along Riverside Boulevard in Shanghai. See that tried and true combination coming up again of Hoyt and Easton, the sponsors for this event, coming up in the, the arrow and bow combination. So a one-point deficit for Angel Ramirez of Mexico as he starts the second end. And starts it in good fashion with a 10. So he hits the X in the middle of the target. See the focus on Logan there. Great X there, Logan. Tens are all the rage now here in the second end. Well, you can see Ramirez just becoming more confident in his shot. I, I think you'll find that he's actually dropped that little bit of uh, nerves off from those first couple of arrows. And Logan obliges Ramirez with a nine. 
So we're tied at 47 total points apiece here in the second end of the men's bronze medal match and another 10. So a sweep here in the second end for Ramirez. That's going to give him the confidence over the next few hours. He's going to be a tough opponent. And a nine for Logan Wild. Unusual, unusual from Logan, I wouldn't expect. So Logan leading by one after the first end. Sees his competitor shoot three straight tens. So after the first six arrows, 57 points for Angel Ramirez out of a possible 60. And for his opponent, Logan Wild, who makes his home in Salt Lake City, Utah now. Good look at Logan right there as he accepts his arrows. 56. So that's actually a two point swing in that second end. He was up by one, he's now trailing by one, but not down and out by any stretch of the imagination. No, the match can turn quite quickly. Quite quickly. Uh, so Logan will, will certainly bed down into this. He's um, produced the goods in, in, in pressure events in the past. I don't think it's um, going to be a problem there. He's been here before, now down by one. And since Logan Wild is trailing, he will get things started here in this third end of the bronze medal match. From 50 meters away, comes up with a nine. Oh. Ramirez has got the confidence going at the moment. Apparently so. <laughs> Wild needing a 10 to keep pace. And he does. So Logan responding with a 10 when he needed one. But he's up against a competitor who is hot. Ramirez is right on now. It was only those first two arrows, those just those few nerves. I think he's going to be really be a tough competitor into the future. Someone to keep an eye on. For sure. But all Logan Wilde can do is take care of his own business, which he does. Exactly right. That's what you've got to do. Move on. Forget about what the other person's doing and focus on uh, your shot. And if Ramirez shoots anything less than a 10, he shoots an 8. And so things are getting very, very interesting as that one point edge disappears and we're all even once again. Well, you can see those swings and roundabouts, how it happens. You, you know, Ramirez was going off the three tens in a row, going in with right on with the confidence and uh, then finishes off with an eight. His next arrow, it's going to be quite hard for him to focus and make a good shot and trying to forget that eight. Um, whereas Logan left with a ten, so he's going to be going in there with confidence. Um, it certainly makes it chilling, uh, challenging, and it's certainly a mind game at this point. You saw you Roger Willett Jr. just a moment ago. It looked as though he was as nervous sitting there as he might, might be competing. For sure, for sure. And you can see Ramirez just then talking to his coach behind him about the release on that shot. So it's a bit of a concern, really. I'd like him to be focusing on the next shot, not what he did on the last shot. Hopefully he can get that out of his head. Each with 85 points out of a possible 90. After the first three ends, now we're going to the fourth end. And Logan Wild for the first shot. This one up for grabs. I'd expect this to be a 10. Geez, I've done that twice, haven't you I? You have done that. Yes. <laughs> I'll try not to put the kibosh on anyone else. <laughs> I won't be asking you for a weather prediction anytime soon. No, thanks. There's the 10. And the youngster from Mexico pulls ahead by one. Logan Wild with a 10. Rushed that shot a little bit there, but uh, caught a solid a 10. Snuck it just inside the line. Jeez Ramirez looked relaxed on that shot. 
Ramirez intent on not opening the door for Logan Wild, who has fallen behind by one point now. And needs to finish up this fourth end strong and settles for a nine. So 28 points in that end. Ten, ten, ten. Three straight tens. They certainly got the confidence going. Look, that's going to be tough for anybody with three hours to go. A two-point difference as Logan Wild has 113 out of a possible 120 points. See Logan shaking his head there a little bit. Look, I'm sure he'll be able to focus on uh, maintaining the shot. He's done it a lot in the past. Wild led by one after the first end, trailed by one after the second. They were all tied up after three ends. Then after the fourth end, Logan Wild finds himself trailing by two. Good to see the crowd there enjoying the, the venue. And what a beautiful, tremendous venue it is. There are restaurants, shops, ice cream stores, all along the river here. Wonderful gathering place. And a tremendous venue that was created almost overnight by this World Cup crew. Which worked into the wee hours of the morning, I understand. Getting the stands erected, getting the field set up, the targets, everything required for World Cup competition. Final three hours. And Logan Wild trying to make the best of those three arrows. I'm sure he will. Needs to pick up two points at least to try to send this to a shootout. Oh, but a 10 for Angel Ramirez. Ramirez looks relaxed. He does look relaxed. And Logan Wild scores a 10. Back-to-back 10s -back for the man who edged out the number one seed earlier this week, Pierre-Julien Deloche. Fighting to stay in the hunt for a bronze medal, and there's a nine, so there's one point given back. Ramirez has opened the door a little bit there because Logan is the man that can put it in the 10. Got to have a 10 right here and then hope. Ooh, it's right on the line. That puts the pressure right on Ramirez now. It's Ramirez's match to lose at this point. Ah, but he does not do that. He comes through in the clutch and scores the 10, and look at that expression. He did a great job, Ramirez, there, and so did Logan, but you saw Ramirez coming into the match, and his first two shots were quite nervous. He sort of got over that quite quickly and, um, and, and took the match there. So Angel Ramirez from Mexico picking up a gold medal. It's the second gold medal here in the compound round for the team from Mexico. 144 points for that young man who's having himself a big week in Shanghai with his first World Cup medals. And he edges out Logan Wild by one point. One point. It's always going to be that close. I mean, you, you're going to look at the, you're going to see both of those two archers again, I'm sure, shooting off, off for more medals in the future World Cups. When you lose by one like that, do you replay that in your mind for the next couple of days or do you just have to try to put it out of your mind?